Here we're going to be looking at partnership profit and loss allocation or distribution and it's going to be based on the weighted average of capital investment that the partner has and the capital investment is the cash and the assets that the partner has invested in the partnership. So first thing we do is we start looking at the capital account here for the partner and for our example here we're going to have a capital account here for partner A and also a capital account here for partner B here. And this capital account represents the cash and assets that the partner has and invested in the partnership. So when we work with this weighted average uh, capital in for the weighted average capital investment here we have to match here or look at our dates with the amount of capital that they have invested for the date or the period here so let's just go through our capital account here for partner a here so on 11x1 they had two hundred thousand dollars invested here in their capital account and then on 71x1 there was twenty thousand dollars added to the capital account here so we would have a change at this time and then on 10 1 X 1 there was sixty thousand dollar reduction here in the capital account so we had a balance here of hundred and sixty thousand dollars so let's go down and look at how we calculated this calculate this weighted average capital here and we'll look at partner a here so what we do here is we take the amount invested here in this case on 11x1 they had two hundred thousand dollars invested here and now we have to look at how long they had that amount invested here when our next change was so on 71 we had an increase here of twenty thousand dollars so for the first six months from 11 until 71 here they had uh, a two hundred thousand dollars invested in their uh, capital account here so we what we would do is we take the number of months that that two hundred thousand thousand dollar investment was made here or held times uh, two hundred thousand here times six months that gives us one million two hundred thousand dollars here for our weighted dollars for that time period here and then we would move on to our next uh, change here so we're we'd have to look here at seven one x one they had the twenty thousand dollar increase here and then on ten one x one here uh, there was a sixty thousand dollar decrease. So let's go down and look at how we'd be, how we'd handle that here. Uh, so we had the twenty thousand dollar increase from the two hundred thousand dollar amount here. So that increased here. The accumulative amount at that time was two hundred and twenty thousand dollars, and they held that for three months here, from seven one x one until ten one x one here. So you would take the two hundred and twenty thousand times the three months, and you get six hundred and sixty thousand dollars here. So now let's look at our next change here. Well, on 10.1x1, they had a reduction here of $60,000 and no more uh, entries here uh, through the end of the year. So we ended up with a balance here of $160,000. So let's look at what uh, how our next calculation here. So we had the $220,000 amount here up until 10.1. And then at 10.1, there was a sixty thousand dollar reduction here so we would take the two hundred and twenty thousand less the sixty thousand dollars and then that would be in our balance here hundred and sixty thousand dollars so what we've done here is we've held that hundred and sixty thousand dollar investment since ten one until the end of the year here for and that would be for three months in this case so we take hundred sixty thousand times three months here that gives us four hundred and eighty thousand dollars so to calculate at our weighted average here um, capital investment here we would have uh, just sum our amounts here one million two hundred thousand six hundred sixty thousand four hundred eighty thousand here for a total amount here of two million three hundred forty thousand dollars and then that was based on 12 months here so to determine our weighted average capital here we take the two million three hundred and forty thousand and divide it by the 12 month period here and we come up with hundred and ninety five thousand dollars as our weighted average uh, capital that we had for the period for that year here that 12 month year here now we would go up here and look at our capital account here for partner B and do the same thing here we could look at uh, for 11x1 they had hundred and twenty thousand dollar balance and then at 41x1 there was a reduction here of 
$20,000. So going down to our uh, weighted average accounting down here, we had the $120,000 investment for three months here. That would be three times 120000 gives us $360,000. And then we had that change here on 401x1, and that reduced our account here from 120000 to $100,000 subtracting out this $20,000 reduction here. So we had $100,000 held here for nine months. So you, that would equal $900,000 here over that period. So adding the $360,000 plus the $900,000 gives us $1,260,000 and that was for that 12-month period. So our weighted average uh, amount here would have been $1,260,000 divided by 12 or $105,000 for the year. That would be our weighted average here that we had on our capital. So moving down to our account here for our interest on the weighted average on our capital here. Now this is where we would be dividing up or allocating our profits here in this case. So we take partner A here and in this case we had a 10% interest rate. Now that was based on the specified rate of interest or the rate of return here that the partners agreed on for the for their partnership here for the year. So we take, in this case, it was 10% times that weighted average here, $195,000 here. Now, that was what we calculated up here as our weighted average, $195,000. So the 10% times that gives us partner A would be an allocated $19,500 here on this interest allocation. And then for partner B here, again, we use the 10% times their weighted average here, which is $105,000 here for the year here. So 10% uh, of that would be $10,500. So then we have our total amounts here that was allocated to 19500 to partner A, 10500 to partner B here for a total month amount here of $30,000 that was allocated. Now for our example here, the partnership profit for the year was $40,000 here. So uh, we have to allocate this remaining balance here, the difference between the $40,000 profit less the $30,000 that we had allocated here. So that difference was $10,000. So this is what we have to allocate. So we have to go over and we have to allocate that based on a profit loss ratio here. And in this case, our profit loss ratio was decided to be 50-50% between the partners. And this can vary here. It'd be like, say, 60% to one, 40% to the other, or 80% to one, 20% to the other. But based on our 50% 50 ratio here, uh, the $10,000 would be divided up here. Partner A would get $5,000 and then partner B would get the other remaining or the $5,000. So there would be the total allocation here for this profit that we had of $10,000 here based on our uh, ratio here analysis. So then uh, we would have the 30000 allocated plus the 10000 here that we divided up here in the profit and loss ratio gives us the $40,000 total amount here that for the partnership profit here. So this solves our problem here with the interest weighted capital investment here based on the weighted capital. So for partner B, they would have had a $15,500 allocation of profit for the year. And then for partner A, uh, their at total allocation would have been $24,500. So that uh, allocates here our total profit of $40,000 for the year. Now, remember the first part here was based on the interest, the weighted capital of interest that they held. And then the balancing amount uh, went to based on this ratio amount here. So that's how we handle this problem here using the weighted average uh, capital of the partner for determining the allocation of the profits in this case.